the early 1800s, the word pirates in this part of the world did not always refer to plundering warriors who sailed the seas. The sea then was the main source of food, profit and power for regional powers. Sea captains employed by the reigning sultans of regional states patrolled and policed sea routes and river mouths. To the locals, the real pirates at that time were the Parampa, or wanderers, outlaws and renegades, with no royal patronage and no fixed homes. When the British established a free port in Singapore in 1819, it challenged any attempt by regional powers to control sea routes. Not surprisingly, it's said that recorded incidents of piracy increased as a result. This could be because the Orang Lao, who had previously patrolled Singapore waters for local powers, could no longer do so legitimately. Moreover, any heated disagreements between Malay chiefs and merchants or traders were considered piracy by the British. For decades, the British employed different strategies to wrest control of Singapore's waters and effectively police it without much success. The arrival of steamships tipped the scales. The new Diana arrived in 1837. While on patrol, she came across six large parahu attacking a Chinese junk. Thinking that the steam emitting from the Diana meant that the ship was on fire, the parahus gave chase. Unexpectedly, the new Diana moved against the wind and opened fire, shocking the pirates on board the parahus. Many of the subsequent attacks on pirate vessels were orchestrated by pirate hunters who arrived in Singapore after European merchants petitioned the British colonial government. By the 1850s, the pirate threat had faded into the past.